So I basically have a GI bleed, which is where you bleed internally, which is quite common with gastroparesis. Good morning guys, so I don't know if you can tell, um, but I had one of the most roughest nights ever. I've been up all night being sick and going to the toilet and my blood pressure kept dropping last night um, and basically I've been trying to get fluids in oh my god, my lip like I'm so dehydrated that my lips are just cracking um, yeah I've been trying to get fluids in to try and compensate for everything that's coming out and it was just not working I've been running fluids with potassium in all night anyway, so things aren't good so Tom was like, should I ring 111? And then I was sick this morning, and it was quite red, um, and there was like, kind of like blood clots in there. Um, it wasn't like dark blood or anything, it was more like, I can't really explain it, and then I thought I didn't eat anything or anything like that, that had anything red in, I mean I didn't really eat anything at all yesterday, so it wouldn't make sense, like it was nothing I ate. Anyway, and so now we have an emergency doctor's appointment for this morning. Were you thinking it's a reaction to antibiotics, even though I've had them before? Um, we're not really sure what's happening, just really, really not feeling well. So, yeah, I'm on our way to the doctors now. Step. Hey guys, so I'm home now. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick update. I got put on a couple medications and stuff. And I got different antibiotics that are liquid this time because the other ones were tablets and we think that they were staying in my stomach for too long and then there were slow release ones and then all of it was releasing into my stomach and then all of it was releasing into the intestines if it eventually even went out of my intestine, it, out of my stomach, I don't know. Anyway, so that's obviously caused some sort of GI bleed. We're just keeping an eye on it for the moment and I'm taking some tranexamic acid and stuff like that. Um... I do, obviously, I'm seeing my gastro later, so it's up to him what he wants to do. Whether he wants to do blood tests there or, I don't know, send me to any, I don't know, whatever. But Tom's downstairs just putting away my medication and then he's going to set up some more fluids for me. And then I'm just going to have them up until my appointment and then start feeds. Because um, I think at the moment getting fluid back into me is much more important than setting up my feeds. So that's the update. Um... I'm just going to go to sleep now, and right until my appointment, which is at 4. So, sorry if today's vlog is going to be super boring. I just, I, I, like, I thought, I felt bad yesterday, but I feel even worse today. So, I don't think it helps that I got pretty much no sleep. Um, and running back from the toilet to the bedroom, being sick, and then using to use the toilet, so. Anyway, yeah. Um, also, I just want to quickly say... Please go vote for me um, for a Waco Health Award. I've been nominated for YouTube and Instagram, which is crazy. So you guys can go vote. I'll leave a link down below that will take you straight to the voting page where you can choose whether you want to vote for Instagram or YouTube or both. It's up to you. But please go check it out. So I did actually manage to put some normal people clothes on. Um, so I woke up from my nap a little while ago. Um, and I've watched a little bit of To The Bone, which is a film starring Lily Collins, and it kind of centers around anorexia. And I know there's been, whenever there's medical films, there's always a lot of controversy about it. So like I said, there's always like a lot of um, controversy surrounding films like, like about the chronically ill, like for example, when 13 Reasons Why came out, there was a lot of people that suffer with depression and stuff that were like, oh, this is terrible. And then other people liked it. There always, always will be people who, like, agree with it and people who don't. Personally, I think I've never suffered with an eating disorder. So I can't really, I don't really have any, like, a say. But I did think it was a good, I didn't think it was glamorising anorexia or anything like that. Because I know a lot of people were saying that, oh, it glamorises anorexia. But I don't believe that it did at all. Um, if anything, I thought that it showed it was quite graphic and showed quite like how like the different aspects of how it affects the person but anyway yeah so I'm gonna go back to sleep for another hour and then I'll be off to my appointment
so basically I've been sleeping pretty much all day um I did get home from my appointment quite a while ago um it's now almost 10 o'clock at night and obviously due to how ill I'm feeling I haven't really been vlogging and I'm probably not gonna upload this vlog for quite a few days until I feel well enough to edit it I kind of just went I was getting like, a little bit better and then it just went downhill really quick so basically it's not really that much to update on from the G from the gastro perspective, um, I had some bloods done today to check my potassium and my blood count and everything to make sure nothing's crazily low. Um, I have been giving myself potassium infusions at home with through my pump, but it just depends how my other electrolytes are. But if there's anything crazy wrong with them, obviously they will ring me and tell me to go to A&E. So. I haven't had a call as yet, so let's hope they're okay or manageable so I don't have to go into hospital. Um, so I basically have a GI bleed, um, which is where you bleed internally, which is quite common with gastroparesis or motility issues. Um, I don't think it helps that the antibiotics that I was on were capsules and they were slow release, so they thought that they were all releasing into my stomach and then all of that was going into the next part so the intestines and so on and so on and then causing the GI bleed we're not really sure we, we're just assuming it was that um but anyway yeah so I've been vomited blood and come out the other way as well so let's hope that settles and we don't have to go to any but like I said everything is being checked my blood and iron and everything so we should be okay guys just feeling really weak and exhausted at the moment. Uh, and to be fair, I haven't even taken any of the antibiotics today just because I haven't taken hardly any of my liquid medicines or I've only taken my essential, essential ones just because swallowing's been hard and I've just been too exhausted to take them all and crush them up and whatever, so. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do a quick update. Um, we're getting another gastric emptying scan before we definitely get a permanent tube, which is totally fine. I totally get where they're coming from, so let's just get that out of the way. Um, even if we don't get a surgical tube before I leave, then um, I can just take the results to Australia with me to get it there, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. My gastro was quite worried about my weight because it had dropped. I'd lost quite a lot of weight in such a small amount of time, and I was actually doing quite well, and I was starting to gain a little bit. So it's kind of like a bit of a kick in the teeth for me. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to go back to sleep. I just thought I'd quickly end the vlog and let you guys know that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm managing at the moment. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I'll have to see how I'm feeling. But if I do, it'll probably be really short like it was today. But anyway, um, I love you guys and I will try and see you tomorrow. Good night.